How Expert! Top 10 Music Festival Tips How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Music Festival Tips. Top 10 Music Festival Tips Number 10. Put the work in early. Part 1 of this book, in which I go over all the preparations necessary to take for a seamless festival experience, is purposefully the longest part of this book. Festivals really are a lot of work, and there is no time for procrastination. They take a lot of organizing and a lot of planning, so be proactive. You will have time to research different types of festivals, what ticket types are like, the various rules and regulations, what your accommodation options are, what your best choice for mode of transportation is, what the weather is going to be like, and so on. Do not take this part lightly. Festivals are not cheap, so make sure that you do your research ahead of time to ensure that you are getting precisely what you want for the money that you are spending. If you're willing to follow these steps and put the work in early, though, it will all be worth it in the end when you get to enjoy your smooth and carefree time at the festival. Number 9. Manifest your destiny. There may be times when you're frantically looking at the cost of everything added up between transportation, accommodation, festival ticket, cost of food and drinks at the festival, etc., and thinking that you're not going to be able to make it happen. If you really want to go to the festival, though, just buy that ticket and make it happen. If you don't give yourself the option of not going, you will find a way to get the money together to go. Start picking up extra shifts at work, stay later, work harder, and even get an additional part-time job if you can. Stop going out with your friends to the bar, stop shopping for things you don't really need, and start cooking at home for every meal. You can make anything happen if you put your mind to it. Number 8. Prime your body to be as healthy as possible before the festival. It will be challenging to maintain healthy habits once you're at the festival, so make sure that you are at the healthiest version of yourself when you arrive. You will be doing an enormous amount of dancing and walking at the festival, so doing a ton of cardio before you go is imperative to your well-being so that you won't be sore and exhausted the whole time you're there. You'll also be exposed to a lot of bacteria and viruses. So prime your immune system to operate at an optimal level while you're there. Eat tons of fruits and veggies and start taking immune system boosting supplements such as zinc, echinacea, garlic, and turmeric starting at least a few weeks before you leave. Number seven, choose a social accommodation. Perhaps the most rewarding part of going to a music festival is the relationships that you build along the way. Choose camping by any means possible because, in camp, the party never stops. There are DJ sets and fun activities going on at camp all day, from a few hours after the last set inside the festival that morning, and until everyone leaves to go back to the festival that afternoon. You will really get your money's worth and meet the most people by camping at a festival. If camping is unavailable, hostels are the next best option. Most hostels offer private rooms for anyone who wants to be social, but also wants a little bit of privacy. Number six, pack for success. There is a much more detailed packing list in this book, but I want to go over the non-negotiable essentials in this tip. First and foremost, you must have comfortable, broken-in, closed-toed shoes. At the bare minimum, you will need your toothbrush and toothpaste, soap, baby wipes, deodorant, and sunscreen for toiletries. You will need your ID, money, cash, and cards, and backups of both. To stay healthy, you will need a face mask, hand sanitizer, and immune system support supplements. To stay hydrated, you will need a hydration pack and hydration multiplying packets. For pain and injury, you will also need ibuprofen, Icy Hot, Band-Aids, and liquid bandage. Number five, hydrate constantly. Dehydration is the most significant health risk at music festivals. You need to be consciously hydrating before, during, and after the festival. Hydration multipliers such as liquid IV 
are total lifesavers. I always drink at least one packet with water straight away in the morning and one before I go to bed at night. I also highly recommend picking up multiple bottles of Pedialyte before heading to your accommodation and plan to drink at least one per day. If you'll be consuming alcohol, choose pickle juice as a chaser. Pickle juice is actually extremely hydrating, is loaded with antioxidants, and it tastes amazing as a chaser for whiskey. Use coconut water as a mixer for your drinks because it's also extra hydrating and packed full of potassium. I've noticed a growing number of festivals that have stands selling coconut water cocktails, so be on the lookout for those as well. Finally, the cheapest and most effective way to keep yourself hydrated is to fill up your hydration backpack at the free water fill station immediately upon entering the festival and keep drinking water all day and all night long. Number four, choose to stay relentlessly positive. No matter what happens, it is so important to stay optimistic and keep a good attitude throughout the entire duration of the festival. Little things are bound to go wrong every day. You just have to accept that and make the decision to roll with the punches and choose to be optimistic in every situation. There are way too many fun parties to go to and too many beautiful, amazing people to meet to have any negative energy. Attitude spreads like wildfire. The people that you come into contact with will be impacted in some way by your attitude. So wouldn't you like to leave a positive impact on everyone you meet? People would rather be around the person that's smiling and stoked all of the time than someone who won't stop complaining about how long the lines are or how hot it is. So be that person and choose happiness all day, every day. Number three, behave with peace, love, unity, and respect. Behave peacefully. The festival world is supposed to be a place that is free from conflict, disturbance, and negativity. Everyone must do their part to coexist peacefully and make this a safe space for everyone. Behave with love and goodwill towards all your fellow festival goers. Think about your actions and do everything you do with good intentions at heart. Behave in a manner of unity with everyone around you. We are all deeply connected in the festival world. This is a special space in which it does not matter where you are from, what religion you follow, what your sexual preferences are, what your political views are, and so on, because you are home here. We must put all of our differences aside in the festival world to love and accept everyone we encounter. Finally, behave with respect. Respect the festival grounds, respect the festival workers, and respect each other. Everyone must play an active role in perpetuating all of these mannerisms in order to keep the festival world as pure and idealistic as possible. Number two, talk to everyone. Get out of your comfort zone and put yourself out there. There are thousands of incredible, unique people to meet at music festivals. Take advantage of the fact that you are in this fantastic party paradise with all of these extraordinary individuals and make as many connections as possible. Festival people are so easy to talk to because we all just want to make friends and chat it up too. It's as simple as telling someone that you're standing in line next to for drinks that you love their outfit or asking people that you're in line with to get into the festival who they're most excited to see. It doesn't even matter what you say. Just strike up conversations and make friends wherever you go because the festival will end at some point, but you will hold on to the friends you make there forever. Number one, recover like a party professional. You've probably just had the best week of your life after any given festival. When you return home, it can be difficult to readjust to this new life in which you can't smother yourself in glitter and have a mimosa for breakfast every day. You're probably feeling sick, exhausted, and at least a little sad that it's over. Some things you can do to help yourself through this downtime are catching up on sleep, hydrating, eating healthy, going to yoga, meditating, spending time outdoors in the sun, exercising, and checking in with your new festival friends. In my experience, the most effective way to boost your mood if you're going through the post-festival blues is to get back to work and start saving for and planning your next music festival adventure. People with festival plans have no time to be sad. 
If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you. Have an amazing day and take care. How Expert publishes quick how to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.